the speaker. Honorable speakers, the 30 minutes period meant for intervention is well spent, and therefore, pursuant to Standing Order 238.1, the petition is thereby committed to the Standing Committee on Health for its consideration. In terms of Standing Order 238.2, the committee is required in not more than 60 calendar days from the time of reading this prayer to respond to the petitioners by way of a report addressed to the petitioner and laid on the table of the Senate. I thank you. Honorable Senators, before we move to the second petition, I have this communication to make. I would like to acknowledge the presence in the public gallery this afternoon visiting teachers and students from Albright Junior School, Nairobi County. The group comprises three teachers and 12 students from the Journalism Club who are in the Senate for a one-day academic exposition. Honorable Senators, in our usual tradition of receiving and welcoming visitors to Parliament, I extend a warm welcome to them, and on behalf of the Senate, on my own behalf, wish them a fruitful visit. I will allow the Senator for Nairobi, just one minute to make very brief welcoming remarks. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, for allowing me opportunity to welcome the students of Albright to the Senate. And uh, on behalf of uh, my colleagues and on behalf of uh, the entire House, to wish them a fruitful uh, visit of the Senate. You've uh, said that they are members of the Journalism Club. In fact, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, we have uh, had conversations in my office uh, following a request that came from one of the schools, uh, Huruma Girls, uh, to support uh, the journalism clubs in public schools in Nairobi. And uh, as I speak today, we are at a very advanced stage with one of the uh, leading global manufacturers of audiovisual equipment to actually support uh, drama and uh, uh, communication clubs, art clubs in many of the schools in Nairobi. I am sure that uh, if the teachers uh, of Albright were to say the right things, uh, there, was, there would be no problem uh, for me in including them in this program, although it was targeted at public schools, uh, so that we are able to grow the talent in the school and hope that uh, we can have uh, very serious future journalists, uh, news reporters, and, and all the others from this particular school. Mr. Speaker, uh, as they might understand, uh, the press journalism are uh, one of the four uh, pillars of democracy, Mr. Speaker, and that we need them. We need to see uh, new uh, practitioners in journalism that is an essential cog in protection of our democracy every day because it, shine lights. it shines light on everything that we do, especially as elected leaders here. Even as we are in this chamber, you can see this is the parliamentary broadcast service so that everything we say here is actually seen by the, uh, the, the, the citizens out there. And you can confirm as citizens of Embakasi that the things that I am saying here are the things that you've sent me. So I want to thank them for, uh, for this visit and I wish them a, a successful visit and I hope that we will be seeing some big names in media coming from Albright. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. The second petition is by Senator Mariam Sheikh Omar. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. 